water molecules have the formula of H2O, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Now, it often happens that these molecules separate to form a hydrogen ion, H+, and a hydroxyl ion, OH-. In this animation, you see two water molecules splitting and then rejoining. And so this is a natural process where in any group of water molecules, some are splitting to form hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions, while others are rejoining. Notice that as long as it is only water which is present, the number of hydrogen ions equals the hydroxyl ions. This animation depicts a solution which is acidic. In an acid, there are more hydrogen ions, the red dots, than there are the hydroxyl ions. And so anything which has a pH below 7, which is acidic, has a surplus of these red hydrogen ions. Some acids are stronger than others. And in the second animation, you see an, a stronger acid than you saw previously. Uh, a weak acid has a pH of say 5 or 6 and has uh, a surplus of hydrogen ions, but the surplus is far greater in the strong acids, say pH 1 or 2. The opposite is true in a base. In a base there is a surplus of the hydroxyl ions, the OH minus ions. In a weak base, something which is close to pH 7, say pH 8 or 9, there is a slight surplus of these hydroxyl ions. However, bases can become stronger as the number of hydroxyl ions increase. And in this second segment, you see a far greater number of the hydroxyl ions. This would represent a strong base, a base whose pH is farther from 7, say pH 13 to 14.